Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering with me, you lad. We are having a look at a red aggro deck today, so let's get straight into it. This is a Calvacade of Calamity deck that I've uh, kind of made my own weird version of. Because I realized that Torbrand was a thing and I was like, wait, red sources. Calvacade of Calamity is a red source. So, Torbran plus Calvacade of Calamity means 3 damage for each 1-1 one, one, or each 1 power creature that attacks each turn. So actually getting these two out at the same time is very crazy. So um, I basically created this deck hoping that I would actually succeed in making some sort of aggressive deck. Now. Let's go back to it, actually. I'm not... It's not super good. It's okay. Um, so my plan is... Well, we have a lot of 1-1s, one right? We have 22 land, aggressive. We have Calvocate of Calamity. We have Chandra's Pyrohelix. Mostly of the reason that um, Torbran also works with Chandra's Pyrohelix. So we can actually deal 3 damage to 2 targets. Or, yeah, 3 damage to 2 targets rather than just 1. And Jaya's Greeting as well as sort of removal and a way to fix what we pull next time with the Scry. And Brimstone Trebuchets because they are actually kind of good defenders. Plus they also work with Torbrand quite well. They deal um, 3 damage instead of 1 every time they tap. And like they're okay defenders against most decks nowadays. Um, Experimental Frenzy just because it, it is kind of okay when you pull it. And it's like, well, you're out of cards in your hand, might as well play it, right? And Dwarven Mines to create those 1-1 one, one red dwarfs for free. But that is basically the deck, so let's jump straight into it, shall we? I've been having some problems while playing this. I'm not sure if it's a problem with the deck itself, or, um, I don't know, maybe just I'm unlucky and stuff like that, but I feel like I usually... Obviously, it's a super aggressive Calvocate of Calamity deck, so I'm supposed to win very fast. But I never, like, either I start with Torbran in my hand, like now, or I don't pull him at all. That is basically how most of my games go. The problem with Torbran is he is kind of expensive. I mean, he has four mana, three red. Obviously, this is a mono red deck, so that's usually not a problem. But he is kind of expensive, considering. Like, four mana, we usually go up to three. Getting 4 mana is actually kind of a requirement, to be honest, like 3 mountains uh, at least. Because at that point we can play the Dwarven Mines for like some real value. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well we'll play the, uh, the Torch Courier. I've basically gotten all the 1-1 one -one Goblins with haste in this deck. That's basically everything that I have. Just the annoying little shits that's run around, runs around with just a crap ton of like haste and stuff. I feel like this turn, because he hasn't played anything, we'll do this, and next turn we'll play the Calvocate of Calamity. I think that is way better. We'll get some more damage that way. Well, it's only one more damage, so not super worth it, let's be honest. Hmm. I think he should have... Or yeah, it would destroy it. Yeah, it, it would destroy. So it doesn't maybe really matter, to be honest. Let's do Calvocade. Now, getting if we get one more land and both Calvocades out, he is basically dead. Like, this guy is literally dead at that point. That is like... What is it? 12 damage from just two creatures attacking. That is insane. That is actually crazy. He is really unlucky with his land, though, it seems. So... Let's do this and let's play Torbran. Oh, maybe that's bad actually. I should have waited. Yeah, I definitely I definitely should have waited, played the Calvocade this turn. Well, maybe it doesn't matter, let's be honest. He's probably dead next turn anyway. Now this is how I actually want the deck to go. Like this is the real power of the deck. But it doesn't go this way most of the time, let's be honest. Most of the time you don't have Calvocades and Torbrands at the same time. Which is really annoying, I gotta say. It is really annoying. That worked out really well. We even got a pack. Wow. Let's see. So far, though, 
I don't know about you guys, but I've been enjoying Throne of Eldraine really, like, a lot. I feel like the, the expansion is really fun. I really like the setting. Like, the setting is so stupid, but it is so fun at the same time, you know? Where it's like, oh yes, fairy tales are real. And they're super freaking annoying. We have fairies, we have knights, we have nobles, we have every freaking thing. We have adventures, we have giants. It's like everything packed in, like everything. When you think Disney, you'll, you'll basically get Throne of Eldraine inside of your head. That is basically how I see Throne of Eldraine, at least. Oh my god, he's also red. Let's play that Tin Street Dodger. And get him, boys. Three damage. Boom. And we'll end that turn. Oh my god, a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Well, would you look at that. I feel like the Brimstone Trebuchet is definitely the thing to do here. Attacking feels stupid. He'll just block one of these guys and kill them. But with the Brimstone Trebuchet, we can at least block the Dread Dreadhorde Arcanist. And he doesn't really have anything like in his... Well, I was about to say he doesn't have anything in his graveyard. But oh my god, that freaking combo. That is actually disgusting. Eh, not really any point to blocking him at this point. Um, I think we'll do this actually. Play here. And we'll swing with both of these. Uh, wait, I didn't think... I, I didn't think this through. Hmm. Oh well. We'll play the trim, Brimstone Trebuchet. And we'll see. I mean, him having another Savage Smash, I mean, yeah, sure, he could, but I... Wow. It's like he read my mind. That is actual, actually disgusting. Two Savage, savage Smashes as well. Ugh. Oof. Big oof. I feel like I should uh, not attack this turn. Save it up for when he attacks, then I can Tin Street, tin street Dodger uh, block him and Chandra's Pyro Helix to kill him. That's what I feel like. The art on this guy is actually really cool. He's like, <laughs> you fool. Gotcha. I do love the goblins of Ravnica. They're so cool because they're like, usually just like insane people, basically. They're, they're basically just gangs. Either gangs or they're part of the, uh, of the Boros Legion. It's one of those two. Ah, interesting. He didn't attack. Very interesting. Yes. It has trample, weirdly enough. Like, well, I understand, I, I guess, why the Dread Horde Arcanist has trample at this point. Because you can do stuff like that, and if, if you can buff it, the trample will hurt like hell. Hmm. We could actually do this. I feel like this could be worth it. Just, uh... Oh shit, it has trample. I forgot about that. I think I'm quite dead this game. Like, we did not... He had quite the good early game with both of these savage, uh, savage smashes. Just killing off a lot of my creatures. So, we're basically screwed at this point. I'd be very surprised if we can actually turn this around. Experimental Frenzy might help. I feel like that's like one of the few ways where I could actually do this. But I feel like we, we're not gonna get anywhere. Let's be honest. We, we've lost all momentum. 
there's no point in staying in that game. Because, like, losing all momentum like that, I'm basically screwed. So we need to keep pr our presence on the board clear. Like, we need to keep everything alive as long as possible. If we get into one of those situations and he kills our creatures, we're basically screwed. If we can keep our creatures alive, on the other hand, and get down some Calvocades of Calamity and hopefully get a Torbran, we can win in those situations. But it doesn't really happen that often, let's be honest. Temple of Mystery. And let's play the Torch Career. Is it career or carrier? Yeah, it's career. I always think carrier or carrier for some reason. Well, I mean, I may maybe it's because he's carrying a torch. I don't know. Feels weird though. Oh my god. This will actually, like, this might actually be insane. <laughs> if we can get all the Calvocades out and then Torbran. Oh my god, the damage that we will deal. It's actually crazy. The brambles oh. of truth twirl and curl, choking out la. I think a little merriment is in order. Hmm. I think definitely. The thing is, like, he'll create a 3 3, right? So we should definitely attack him. He, like, Oko is very dangerous. You foul Why do you cross me? We need to I handle think him. up a fun fate for you. What we oh wait oh wait we can't do that next time. Damn. Nightmares are the ballot. Interesting. Oh my great. I'm not sure if I mind that actually. I That's kind of okay. I'm assuming he's gonna make this into a 3-3. That is like the only viable option right now. Yeah, there we go. Oh dear. I feel like we could play Torbran and kill off Oko. And I feel like that would be okay. Yeah, that would definitely be okay. And we're just gonna swing at Oko. So he dies from the Calvocades. So it's Boom. a game. Wallow Boom. in your deceit. So now he can't at least turn Torbran into an elk, which is nice. Um, and next turn we'll have another Calvocate of Calamity. Us attacking with two creatures will kill him. So that's really nice. I leave you with he could have some sort of removal for Torbran, I guess. But I feel I like smoke. it's not going to happen, let's be honest. I feel like we're in a really good position right now. Yeah, yeah, he, he is just going to be passing. Where is he? Ah, he, he was like, hmm, I'm dead. Ah, ah. Well, I mean, that was my Calvocate of Calamity deck. I hope you liked it. Hope you got kind of inspired for something aggressive. I feel like this might be a little bit too much. This is actually a really good card to pull if you want to do an artifact deck um i feel like this deck is maybe a little bit too much it might need some more removal some shocks maybe just to handle that sort of early annoyance in case someone plays it but torbran is a really interesting card i will definitely want to put him into a is it deck i think like imagine is it decks when you have uh, torbran and then the um uh, the force fields, what are they called? Ah, uh, goddammit. They're called as much as, let's see, two mana. And where are they? The runaway steam kiln, really good to begin with. And then we have the uh, electrostatic field. Like, that would be so good. And imagine that, and then we also add freaking the planeswalker. What's his name? Um... We'll just go like this. And just planeswalkers. Yeah, Rall, Storm's Conduit. 
you can deal so much damage with just Torbran and just casting like shocks and stuff like that. I think it can be like really legit actually. It can be a really legit strategy. But it needs some work probably. I feel like you guys should have a look at it. But that's just me. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, remember to like it. Also, comment down below what you think of the deck, how you would change it and make it into your own thing or make it better. And also remember to subscribe and hit that bell. And I will see you guys on Friday. Have a nice evening.